the gear on today. <clears throat> Tried to use the half. But yeah, it couldn't work for some reason. It kept well it worked but it didn't show the um, miles per hour on the tracks of that. I don't want to find out why this one's so loose. It's bugging nuts. Kind of odd. I don't know what it is. Yep. For my last jump. Checked my local dealer for one. They didn't have one. House of Hobbies didn't have one. So I'm just gonna rock it like this until I get one. But seems, seems a lot faster than. But uh, these tires are too heavy. I think with that gear, just don't like have enough. It feel sluggish with 47 or 46 tooth 20 20 46 so I might just put it back to 2050 but I'll try one more time though one more run and see if that app works but I don't know it's, it's glitching and is weird. I had my settings set and I went back to it and it would be um, back to the factory settings 1854 tooth and all my settings for the steering were all back normal so I might just try to reconnect uh, it again see if that'll work but Funny it didn't have no miles per hour. So I gave up on it and I just ripped it down the road. But yeah. These tires are a little too heavy I think. For that gear. So Yep. And I put Seven on this, I know this one will be good. It's the main all star show of the channel. I have more videos. I, have, I had a white Max. I didn't really like it. It had the Mac uh, Hobby Wing 5, Max 5, uh, with 1100 kV motor. This one had a Max 5 2 1100 kV motor, but it was too much. It's cool though, but my front and rear diffs were just not handling all that power. So it's all stock. That's why I keep them stock now. Stock is the way to go. This one, put that gearing. It'll be, it'll be good. It's, I don't know, just lighter, lighter tires. Because I had 46 tooth, but it was a cheap, you know, the, before they went to hardened steel tracks. The cheap, uh, what they come with, those were cheap, didn't even last long. That was, those were really bad gearings, those bronze or whatever kind of color gearing they had. Yep, I put on the wheelie bar, the other one was broken, or I broke it last time. But she's ready to rip again. Like that. So I made. So 
I can move these batteries and just loosen these mounting screws a little bit to so it will have play up and down. That work. I'm holding my batteries. I was going to make straps, but I tried this out and it seemed to be working. I've uh, seen one video of some guy was talking about his uh, this part. This one has mounting screws to mount something. And this top one, you know, the top piece, it has one also. Yeah, oh my, I keep forgetting to put an uh, antenna. I, I have, but I just never. It's just, I don't know. This is my main player, though. The one that does it all. I want to jump this off the cliff. Down a cliff. It would be an epic video, I think. Pretty cool one, anyway. But I am pretty sure I'll break something, but. Star of the show, this one. My first X Max I ever bought. And then I had the Wide Max one. I traded that for, a, I think it was a. No, I traded that. Yeah, I sold that one. But I got that one through trade, and I didn't like it. But, uh, this one, it's too too heavy. I can make it lighter, but. All this pretty stuff, yeah, it's nice, but you know, after a while, I don't think it's gonna handle the abuse like the other one do. So I know. Oh, another thing I found. I think I snapped my bulkhead. You know, it feels loose, but I don't know. If I want to take it apart and check. On here. But it's there though, but when they break, they, sometimes they can stay there. But I'm just going to yank this off. Take a look at it. Yeah. Double check yours. I'm rubbing. But that app, I don't know what was going on with it today. I got fed up with it. I just just made two runs down the down the road, which is nice. Honest opinion. After only for a while, I might sell it. Somebody that you know like all that kind of stuff because I don't see me really bashing this one too much and it's cool and all but I don't know if I'll be bashing it enough to it's worth keeping and I like and I like bashing bashing around jumping you know just let them fly this one flies okay, but got all that pretty stuff on there. I don't wanna. It, it makes me don't want to really rally, it, you know. And, I know I, I like you know sending them and see what breaks. I like working on them. There. I don't know, I just like just tinkering, tinkering with them, you know, see what works and what, how it's made and what breaks, you know, but it's too, too.
too pretty for what I'm what I like doing. So I might just put it up for sale. But yeah. Put new arms on it, new skid plates back. And that's when I found that the markings. I should have made a video, but no, no. I don't know if you guys like watching those kind of stuff all the time. But put new arms, new skid plate, those other ones are kind of scratched here. And I was gonna change that out, but my local dealer didn't have one, and the one in Anchorage didn't have one either. So I gotta order one. But uh, you can see a little ding right here from that last crash in the video. But yeah. So. Too pretty in my opinion for what I like doing. So I mean it's a it's a nice truck. But you can make a you can make a better better one with just a standard X Max. I've had these ones on my other one and I bent them. I bent them. Not really, uh, what did they say they're, they're top of the line upgrade. They're, they're not, not as good as they say they are. But if you really want to just get a regular X Max, save you 50, 500 bucks, you can get you other parts, you know. M2C parts, so I had to go. I want to get the M2C uh, save our steering the one up here. I want to get that for the other one because I I mean, just fix mine. I I have I have new ones, but I like just you know JB weld them, use them until they break, break again, and I throw them and I. JB well the other ones that break the new other pieces. So I'm gonna get an M2C one for it. But yeah, I might be selling this one. I mean, it's I don't, I don't see the value really. I mean it's for some people yeah, but for me what I do I like doing. I oh, mean, I just wanted to sit there and be a pretty looking thing that I'm afraid I might break something, you know. Yeah. If I, well, if I do keep it, if anything breaks, I'll change them back to plastic. <laughs> I mean, but I'll keep the bulkhead. I'm kind of curious to see, you know, this, the bulkhead. This one, the uh, diff, I don't know if they still use plastic, because on my other one I have those, uh, I have my uh, housing, metal housing, or my diff, front and rear diff. That's, yeah, I like that better than the plastic ones. But other than that, may keep or I may not. This is the one I like more. I mean, it makes me smile, it makes me laugh. It's not as shiny and fancy as the other one, but it makes me smile and makes me laugh. Just, you know, just send it, push it. This brace, you don't even really need that brace. But you do need this though, if you want to do that. You need that. Because that's what's helping you to 
flexing. <coughs> she may look rough, but she's, uh, she can handle it. Yeah, I'll try to get that app fixed. I might just erase it and re-download it again and see if that'll work because it couldn't work for some reason. I might make some more jumping videos with this one. The other one's just uh, too pretty for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's um, I just don't want to be that rough with it. But yeah, I might sell it. I don't know. We'll see. You all. Yep, it's my video for today. Sorry, I never made. Made anything with the other one with the GPS mileage miles per hour. Alrighty.